Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology, and we are bringing you the latest in ophthalmology and eye care right here from Raleigh, North Carolina. In this episode, I'd like to explain dry eye syndrome, which is a very common problem and affects many people. In order to better understand dry eyes and how it affects people, let's first take a look at the tear film and how it should function to protect and lubricate the eye. The tears should cover the entire surface of the eye with a thin layer which gets redistributed every time you blink in order to keep it uh, well lubricated. This tear film should last all the way until the next blink and if it's functioning properly your eyes can be comfortable. The tear film is made up of two important components, an oily part and a watery part. And if either of these are missing or not functioning like they should, you can get problems from dry eyes. Most people that have dry eyes can get redness, irritation, or their eye can feel like something is in it. Some people with dry eyes even have a watery eye that runs tears because the eye is trying to make up for all the dryness. Many people are affected by dry eyes, and we see that it's more common the older people get. Other things like different drugs or medications can cause dry eyes, and some diseases that run throughout the body, like Sjogren's syndrome or rheumatoid arthritis, can also contribute to dry eyes. In order to treat the dry eyes best, we first need to address the root of the problem, whether it is from a problem with the oily component of the tears or the watery component. Anyone could benefit from using artificial tears to provide extra lubrication or by controlling their environment so air and heating is not blowing directly on their eyes which can cause irritation or some people when they're out in windy situations can make dry eyes worse. Other things like using the computer when you are reading or staring at something, your eyes don't blink as much and can dry out even more. For people that have a problem with the oily part of the tears, we try to increase the natural oil production by using medications or warm compresses. There are oil glands that run in a row along where the eyelashes are on the upper and lower eyelids that release natural oils onto the eye. In some people these oils become thick, clogged, and don't flow like they should, and those treatments can help increase the natural oil production. Other people do not make enough of the watery tears, and that may be helped with medication as well. I know a lot of you may have dry eyes, and the good thing about having dry eyes is we can usually get you comfortable but it may take a stepwise treatment where we do more and more until we get you where you need to be. If you have any questions about dry eyes, please interact with us on our Facebook. We'll be happy to answer your questions there. Until next time on A State of Sight, we'll see you then. Good health and good sight.